Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this channel ad-free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike and today we're taking a look at this ink. This is Pilot's Irishizuku Hataru Bai, which is again a light label and hard to focus on, but there it is, Hataru Bai. This is the last of the three new Irishizuku inks that I am covering here on the channel. Remember they are getting rid of three and they're bringing in three and this is the last one. This is one that I was a little bit dubious about because, I mean, you can see it's a very light sort of uh, golden yellow green like sort of limey sort of uh, look. It's almost like day glow right there. Uh, and Hotarubai refers to the light of fireflies as the interwebs tell me. And uh, I am really shocked by this one. I thought this was gonna be my least favorite and I really kind of dig this ink. It's a weirdo and it's cool. This is my usual Rhodia 80 grams per square meter uh, paper and you can see it really pops against this very white uh, paper here. Flow, medium wet, I would say, from this nib. This is a Bexley pen, an older Bexley pen made of orange G10, which is a, a very interesting material. And it's got a broad Yovo nib on here. I was going to give this ink some room to stretch its wings, and boy, did it. Its little firefly wings are stretched. Uh, minor bleed on the 20-pound paper. This is that uh, Staples 20-pound recycled paper. Sorry, 20-pound 30% recycled paper. And uh, it does a little bit of feathering on here, just in a couple of places. Like, I can detect tiny little feathers here and there, but uh, not too many places. And then on the back, a uh, little bit of bleed through. It's not uh, as apparent as it is with the uh, the first one, which is Sui Gaioku, because, but I think that's just maybe because this is a bit darker. This is uh, bleeding through a little bit, but it's a lighter ink, and so you don't really see it as much. But remember, this paper is terrible, and on anything better than this, you're gonna have much better performance. So, oh, and I also want to say it looks a little bit more yellow in person than it's coming through on the camera. This is a tricky ink to photograph, and it's much more, it's a bit more yellow in person. So think about fireflies or lightning bugs, whichever one you call them. Uh, I really didn't think that this was going to be usable. I thought it was going to be far too light, but it turns out you get a little bit of shading. You get, uh, you know, a nice bright color, although it is not as green as this. I want to, uh, I want to go ahead and make sure that y'all know. All right, let's zoom in. We'll do a little bit of a water test we'll look at the chromatography and we'll look uh, look at the uh, the ink on some other papers here let's go ahead and squirt it on there now I got this in a little bitty uh, 15 mil bottle in a set of three uh, those are a little bit hard to find that have a set of three of e you know one of each of the new inks but they are out there if you look for them this one's sold out so I don't want to give you a link for it because it's not reliable but uh, let's go ahead and Blot this away. I don't think there's going to be much left over. I would be surprised if I'll be if I'm able to make this out. Yeah, this is entirely not water resistant. <laughs> not water resistant, even a little bit. Keep your uh, keep your water and your spillable coffees well away from this, or it will just go away. There are there are some suggestions of lines and things there, but it's just uh, yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty gone here is the chromatography for this ink which i think is very interesting you have this nice bright orange line up at the top a little bit of yellow a little bit of green and you can just barely make out where it started down here but just just the barest hint of of the green down there so yeah not a whole, a whole no water resistance but interesting interesting chromatography on this it's also interesting to me that this one and hotoro bai both have an orange component I wouldn't have expected orange in either of these, but it does make it. Maybe that's what's making this really interesting. Is it's got that that complexity. This is my Inky Fingers currently inked notebook. This is wheat straw paper, very good fountain pen friendly paper. A bit more, more res, uh, absorbent than some of the the coated papers around. And you can see uh, it really looks nice on here. Although again, it's not quite this green. It's more yellow than this uh, in real life, but very readable either way. And then my Galen Leather Everyday Book. This is Tomoe River paper. And uh, on here, I actually think in in real life, to my eye, this is harder to read than it is on the other papers just because it doesn't soak in and it's a bit brighter. Uh, on the camera, I think it is emphasizing some of the greens that are um, that are in this ink. So, you know, take take this image with a grain of salt, but you can read this ink, which is interesting. All right. Now, I said on my uh, my thing here, unique, with unique color with minor shading. And here's the deal. 
I don't have anything that looks like this ink. I have lots of I have lots of colors that are green. I have several yellows. I have some sort of yellow gold things. I had some inks that I thought would look like this, like um, uh, Robert Oster's Sublime kind of reminded me of this, or this reminded me of it. Um, Lemur Lime, an old ink from Blackstone that uh, Lemur Ink had, reminded me of this, but it turns out this looks like none of those. This is far more yellow. Uh, I don't have anything that's like this. This is unique in my collection. Like it's not even close enough to anything else for me to show it to you together. Um, and so if you're looking for something utterly unique, check this out because that's pretty cool. You don't, I don't get an ink that's utterly unique very often. I don't know if I have any others that are totally unique. So there you go. Pilot Irishizuku's Hotaru Bai Light of Fireflies. Very cool ink. Check it out. Put it in something broad and wet. And uh, I think you'll probably really enjoy this ink. It's a neat one. All right. I will see you all in another video. Thank you for liking and subscribing and commenting and doing the YouTube stuff. And thank you patrons for, uh, you know, supporting my channel and allowing me to buy a bunch of stuff like this. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.